Hello everybody, we're working on a 2006 Nissan Armada SE. Basically what's going on, I got a tow package that I just put on here. And it was easy to put on. It only had four screws and I mounted them in here, right there. And I already had the plug, so the plug is up there, but I connected this extension plug on it here. What I have here is a tester because when I hook this up, what end up happening is some of these vehicles need extra fuses. And what I end up doing, I'm going to show you this fuse here inside the car. I tuck off this panel right here. And there's a fuse, this blue one. I just put that blue one in. And this is for your tail lights to start working. Because when I put the other fuses in that's up under the hood of the car, it still didn't work. All the other lights worked, but this one didn't work. And you ain't gonna find no technical bulletins on this here. But this goes for the Titan, all the 2004s, all the way to 2015. This is your brake switch here for your electronic brakes. Let me see if I can get where you can read it. Okay, so that there is your electronic brake connector, which I will need because I'll be towing. And it also has a tow switch, a tow mode there. So that's pretty much it. So now what I'm going to do is go over here and show you a couple of things about the Nissan. When I bought this vehicle, they had a problem with the brake booster, the Delta sensor. So I went and spent money and I got that fixed. So they replaced all that there. But the reason why I'm doing this video is because of this. Um, you see these two blues and this brown right here? Them two is what the both blue ones is for the left hand turn and the right hand turn. And that brown is for your tow package. And if you see on this cover, it also shows you here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But it shows you where it go. Your VDC is for when you towing um, and need more power. But anyway, so I did put these two in there and I bought this kit online. Um, you need a 15 and a 10 over there. All this is for your tow package. Now I had a problem with my ignition switch as well. And what ended up happening when I try to start my car, I can hear the click from the starter, but it won't start sometime. And the reason for that, and I'm going to show you because that's a secret that people ain't telling nobody. So let me pull this out here. This is another fuse panel back here. This one right here to your left is five relays. This here one all the way to the left, that joker right there is your starter relay. I ordered that and I replaced it and now my vehicle starts fine. I thought it was an ignition switch, which I'll show you that also. And that's going to be up under the dashboard of the vehicle um, to that kick plate that I took off. But my tail lights and stuff, they wasn't working at all without this, this, and this. This kit cost me like $25 online. It's the 57000 from Kurt tow package i don't know what this relay is but i'm gonna find out and i'm gonna replace that too just because i've been in here and some of these you can have fill these up but these are empty so i know no relays or fuses go nowhere in there okay so i'm trying to keep this video kind of short everything up under the hood is good now so let me go back right here if you ever have a problem with your ignition not starting, that one is what I would do first. And that thing cost me about like eight bucks for that little um, fuse. Actually, I got two of them for $8. Now, I'm gonna turn on the light and see if I can show you the ignition switch one. Try not to have all these keys and stuff hanging on your um, keychain, cause that'll mess it up as well. Now, you see that little round thing up there? I'm gonna see if I can point to it. This right here. Uh, let's see. I'm just gonna zoom in on it. 
that there is your ignition switch. And that's where your key go. So sometime it'll be that there and all this is up under the car. So the blue relay that I just put in for the tow package is in the back. I'm gonna get my keys and then I'll show you that it works. Because last time, oh, I don't even need my keys. I'm just gonna turn the light on. And this TM part will be lit. You see that lit? That let me know that my tail lights is not working and that didn't work. So all these indicate what's going on and what's not. And so you can get this stuff did yourself. They was gonna charge me $200 just to do that to um put these fuses in and to plug that little seven way in which was easy because the plug was already there so now that i got that done i'm just gonna put everything back together and um pretty much be done with it but i will be doing a video on how to hook up your electric brake switch too because i see i got an extra piece here that i can plug into so that's pretty much it for the nissan amata 2006 this generally goes for a titan as well the 2004 all the way to 2015 so with that said i know y'all want to know what relays them were so this is the relay kit that i bought i'm not being sponsored by kurt but you can get this from e-trailers or ebay or something like that it's cheaper on ebay and amazon Actually, I got it on Amazon. It came in two days. So with that said, y'all have a good day. Baby.